In this video, I'm going to cover the water detector, the motion detector, the smoke detector, the oxygen detector. And then um, I found a bit of a, it's not quite a bug, but some something weird with the motion detector. So I ripped apart the developer's door that, that comes by default just to see how that works. And then I teach you guys how that works using uh, all of this. And then finally, we're gonna go and do a demo where if a room is flooded, this hatch will open, letting all the water into this ballast. And then if the room is on fire, these will open, letting all the water in, into this room to let out the fire. Okay, so let's get started by equipping our screwdriver. And this water detector, we're gonna do that one last because we're gonna start a fire. Now, here's the motion detector. And how it's hooked up is the state out is hooked up to the text panel of that. And the lamp uh, is hooked up to set state. The bottom lamp is set state. And then the top lamp is toggle state. So again, all three of these is hooked up to all three of that. Um, you won't be able to see this on YouTube, but this lamp is flickering a lot, which tells me that you should probably be using the set state instead of the toggle state of any um, lamps or any other uh, products that you're, or components that you'll, you'll be using in the future. Let's take a look at the smoke alarm. So similar thing, again, uh, I put that there because I'm gonna set this room on fire and toggle state, set state, and then same thing with the oxygen. Um, so by default, the oxygen will give out a number at all times and it will always be on. I have a feeling that when the oxygen hits zero, this bottom light will turn off. For the motion, it looks like, again, there's a bit of a bug to it. And then for the smoke, well, we're about to find out what that's gonna be like by lighting this room on fire. And it looks like that is set to one. Let's pump the water in to douse that flame. So the smoke doesn't uh, measure the amount of smoke in the room. It will just say one if there is smoke and then it'll say zero right about now when the smoke stops. Let's pump this water out and as we're pumping it out, let's take a look at this. So signal out, water percentage and high pressure. So signal out is one, water percentage is six and high pressure is zero. I have a feeling that if there's high pressure, this thing is just gonna get flipped into one. And now that the water is all pumped, um, all three of them are set to zero. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, this lamp also was turned on, both lamps were turned on but it looks like uh, the top one was flickering, so this should probably be into set state, or it's best to do signal out to set state. All right, um, now let's talk about the bug in this motion detector. As you can see, I'm already outside of that room, but that motion detector still says one, and it's this exact same motion detector in front of me. Now I ripped apart this door that the developers have, and let's take a look inside it. Let's take out our screwdriver and the, I, I don't know if it's a bug, but something that you'll have to make sure you, you add in a motion detector is the false needs to be zero. Whereas in mine, the false was nothing. So let me change that to zero. And then now whenever I go near, it will turn into one. When I'm far, it'll turn into zero. Perfect. Now uh, let's, let's break apart what's happening in this complicated thing. So this lever is connected to this door. Let's show you the lever signal out to the door's set state. And when I pull the lever so that I'm sending a bunch of ones into the door, the door opens. When I turn off the lever, I'm sending a bunch of zeros into the door, the door closes. And then let's try putting it into toggle state and let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like toggle state it puts it in some weird some weird state um, yeah okay so the doors when you, when when it receives a bunch of zeros it will close in order to receives a bunch of ones it will open let me let me verify that I just forgot what it was uh, once it opens zeros it closes okay so let's take a look at this thing what I did was I hooked up this motion detector to this text panel. So whenever the whenever there's motion, it will turn into one. And 
I've hooked up this delay component into this light over here so that we can see what happens whenever there's a delay. So I'm going to trigger the motion and run away. And now let's take a look at the delay. There should be a four second delay. Now let's trigger the motion and then let's stay in here and then let's run away. And now the delay seems to mimic exactly what was happening. All right, <clears throat> so how did they hook this up? This motion detector is connected to the delay component and then the not component. And then the not component and the delay component are both connected to this end component. And usually on an end, the output, if both of them are true, should be one. And if uh, none of them are true, uh, it should be zero. But in this case, it looks like the devs have overridden the output so that the output is zero whenever both of them are true. And a zero will tell the door to open, or uh, close, sorry. It will tell it to close. So uh, these two lights, if both of them are on, the door should close. There it is. And the door should close. Now, let's go for a demo and uh, show off what, uh, what we've learned so far. So how does this work? This water detector is connected to this uh, hatch and it's sending a whole bunch of zeros to this hatch because there's no water, there's no water here. Now a downside is when you're trying to open the hatch, it won't open. Now there's a bunch of ways that, uh, that you can figure out on how to make that happen. I don't have enough time in this video to explain how to build that part of things. But uh, let's see the, the water work. I'm gonna open this and take a look at that. The hatch opens whenever this whole area is flooded. Okay, now let's, um, let's turn off this motor. Now let's take a look at the fire. How does that work? This um, fire detector is connected to all four of these ducts and above the duct is water. So fire detector, the state of the fire detector is connected to the set state of these ducts and let's start a fire. And as you can see, fire starts, but since there's water in here, Since there's water in here, oh, oh. oh. okay. <laughs> Since there's water, uh, this hatch also opens up. We don't want that. So let's go. Let's let's go fix it. Um, we're going to connect the signal out of this into a knot so that we're going to negate it. And then from the out of this, we're going to set that as a state. So this fire extinguisher is going to determine whether or not the bridge in this relay is open. And then we're going to send the, uh, well, we don't, we don't need one of the outputs anymore to the door. We're going to send the signal out of this. Um, let's remove that. We're gonna send the signal out of this water into the signal in, in here. And then in here, we're gonna do signal out into the hatch, which means if there's a fire, this is going to be one, and then it's gonna turn it into zero, which means this thing is gonna receive a zero in the set state, which means, um, this water detector below me is not going to get triggered until the fire is off and then the water detector gets triggered and then the hatch closes. All right, that's it.